Okay, guys, um, this is really the difference maker, right? Um, when it comes to um, providing your knowledge uh, and providing value to the marketplace uh, and um, being somebody that people want to hear from, right? And, and have as a speaker. Um, essentially, I mean, what I call it a true to yourself business strategy. And what I mean by that is that there are the things known, the things you can look up on Wikipedia about CRMs, right? If that's your industry, uh, customer relationship marketing uh, or management systems, um, and um, how you know you enter names and data and contact information, and you you're messaging clients uh, and, and also prospects, building a relationship and ensuring that you know the correspondence you've had, the marketing campaigns they've been in, and what messages they've received, uh, the kind of um, uh, hits they have on the material and the videos. There's all kinds of information that can be gathered and kept and maintained in order to ensure that you don't send something they've already uh, been sent, uh, that you're able to read and refer to the material when you're in conversation. Sounds like you remembered, you're reading it right there, um, or you're reviewing it so you can remember it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's all these things that are, you can discuss uh, about uh, customer relationship management, customer relationship marketing, um, that are proprietary to, to any firm. Um, and they're really just explaining the concept. But when it comes to you and the way in which you distinguish your own personal insights and know-how, the things that you personally do that work and, and give you results, that enable you to stand up head and shoulders over others, um, those are the things um, that you're bringing and that when you share, it's like, wow, that's a really useful insight. Um, so I'm saying um, in your business, even if you're, if, if, even if you're in a job um, working somewhere, or a, lot of, a lot of you guys are, um, when it comes to how you're gonna step out and build a, a knowledge business, build information products, it's that information, the things that you know that you can share um, with impunity. You, you're going to be able to speak on these things, tell stories, anecdotes, give you know reasons why you came up with it, the failures, the situations that were faced, uh, and uh, the results that happened when you came up with it and used this solution, this process, this the ways and means that you came up with uh, to ensure you got a result, uh, and then kept on doing it to get results over and over and over again. Um, this is what people pay money for. This is what people in the industry will value. This is why people in the industry will bring you to speak because you can share these anecdotes, share these stories and share these insights uh, and sell them and get paid for them. Um, put them into courses, put them into workshops, drill people, train people. You can train others to train them. Um, but this is the value that you have. Uh, and you're being true to yourself because you're bringing yourself uh, into the business. You're, you're bringing yourself and what you know, and what you understand and the qualities that you have into the business that you're building that, that will enable you to step away from having a job and have a business, have an, an expert business. Um, so, uh, and then also when, when you go into perhaps a, an industry or an area that you dream of being in, again, have that same mindset. What is it that you bring? What is it that you understand? What is it you've gathered? You may be a neophyte first. You may be sharing things that people figured out long ago, but that's only those people that are ahead of you. People that are behind you, um, they're gonna get since they're gonna under receive those insights and welcome them. And also, when you realize how stupid you've been, you've got another story, another anecdote that you can share when you speak uh, in your stories, in your events, in your sales presentations. Um, and you can laugh at how you were such a neophyte and you thought you're so brilliant, but really, you know, you came to understand that this was the real thing. This is the way to go. It may be an industry standard and you share it as an industry standard. It may be somebody who brought it into the industry and you quote them, right? To ensure that you're uh, acknowledging and, and paying gratitude and um, uh, uh, sh sharing the admiration due to others in the industry that came before you, um, but also you may have finally came up with something new that they, those other guys didn't come up with, um, that, that um, they did not 
reach an understanding on because they realized this thing was stupid and so they did the other thing or or what you're supposed to do or what you're told to do and they didn't pursue it until they had the great realization uh the nuance that makes um this sort of thing or the idea you had about a solution or, or the problem uh you, you thought all the way through to where you now have a genuine insight and, and isn't silly or frivolous so guys um the important thing to remember is what you can bring, the value you can bring to your job, to your profession, to your industry. This is uh, the value that others will pay you for, pay you money for. So when I talk about a true to yourself business strategy, it's bringing what you can into your business, into the industry uh, and sharing that in the marketplace for, for value, for, for money, for uh, speaking, for admiration uh, and to be considered a uh, uh, a new genius, uh, a new leader, a thought leader, uh, and that sort of thing. All right, guys, all the best. Have a fantastic week. Bye now.